in this video let us find the real roots or the real number solutions to this cubic equation s cubed minus 50x plus 125 is equal to 0 so how do we go about it well we can factor so let us rewrite whatever is here as s cubed minus 50x plus 125 is equal to 0 so we have something here now we are going to use a trick that will help us factor the cubic polynomial so we will we will add and subtract the same value that will help us to factor a quadratic trinomial so this thing here is looking like a quadratic trinomial so what do we put here so that we can easily factor when we put positive 5x positive 5x squared we get a trinomial here but we need to subtract the same quantity so that it will make up for the addition so we subtracted and added the same quantity so we have not changed this equation so now let us continue to factor so we will factor we'll consider this as one quadratic trinomial we'll consider this as another two term so when we factor s cube minus 5x squared we obtain x squared there then we have x minus 5 so with this one we have to multiply this by this so we multiply 5 by 1 2 5 and that gives us 6 2 5 so two factors of 6 2 5 that when we add we get negative 50 will be negative 25 and negative 25 so when we multiply negative 25 and negative 25 we get positive 625 but when we add we get negative 50 so the the trinomial here becomes plus 5x squared and this time we have minus 25x minus 25x plus 125 is equal to 0 so what we are going to do now is to continue our factorization so we have x squared into bracket x minus 5 here then we have plus there's 5x common to both sides we have 5x here into we have x minus 5 then when we come here we have 25 common to both sides so we are obtaining x minus 5 here as well is equal to 0 so now we can collect x minus 5 so we obtain x minus 5 then we have x squared here then we have plus 5x then we have minus 25 is equal to 0 so by the zero product principle either x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x squared plus
plus 5x minus 25 is equal to 0. So right from here, we got one of the real number solution to be x is equal to 5. So here we pick this one and solve. So we have x squared plus 5x minus 25 equals 0. So I'm going to use computing square method. So we have x squared plus 5x is equal to 25. By adding 25 to both sides, then we now add half of 5 to both sides, half the square of 5, half the square of 5. So we are going to obtain plus 1 over 2 times 5 all squared. Then here we have plus 1 over 2 times 5 all squared. So we are going to obtain x squared plus 5x. Then we have plus into bracket positive 5 over 2 all squared is equal to now 5 over 2 all squared will give us 25 over 4. So we have 25 plus 25 over 4. So we continue the, sol the solution. We have a perfect square here. So when we bring this, what is inside the bracket together, x plus 5 over 2, all squared. When we expand this, we we'll get what is here. So this will be equal to 25 times 4, the LCM is 4. 25 times 4 is 100, plus 25 is 1, 2, 5. So we cannot take the positive and negative square root of both sides. Plus and minus square root of both sides. So we have x plus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1, 2, 5 over 4. So we have x plus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus 5 root 5. Square root of 1, 2, 5 is 1 by 5 root 5. Square root of 4 is 2. So x will be equal to 5 over 2. x will be equal to negative 5 over 2. Plus or minus 5 root 5 over 2. So we will get either x to be equal to 5, which we had earlier, or x will be equal to negative 5 as 5 root 5 over 2 or x will be equal to negative 5 minus 5 root 5 over 2. So these are the three real number solutions to the cubic equation s cubed minus 50x plus 125.